This is part five of the typographic portrait tutorial. This part is completely optional, and I chose to do this to mine because even after painting all of the letters in, I still felt like I wanted to see more definition. It was kind of hard to tell. I mean, I had seen the picture a bunch of times, so I knew that he was holding mittens up in front of his face, but I thought maybe it might be able to stand out a little bit more. So this is optional if you feel like it might help your picture. Step one would be to turn all of your text layers off and turn your posterize layer on. Go to select color range. This time I'm just going to choose the color ranges by the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So let's start with the shadows. Make sure I get all of it and say OK. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to fill that section on that layer. So edit, fill. And what I decided to do was three different versions of the same color. So I'm going to go with a bluish, a kind of a gray blue. And I'm, for the black section, I'm going to go with a dark gray blue. Say OK and OK. So it filled in that black section with a dark gray blue. Now I'm going to turn that off. Control D to deselect. Go back to my posterize layer and select the midtones this time. Select color range. Let's go with our grays, midtones. Say OK. Make a new layer. And this time I'm going to fill it with edit fill color again, but I'm just going to go a little bit lighter and say OK. And OK again. Control D to deselect. So you can kind of see the highlights there, or the midtones rather. Turn them off. Go back to your posterize layer. This time select color range and choose the highlights. So now we have a selection of all the white parts. Say OK. Make a new layer, edit fill, and now I'm going to go with a lighter version of that blue. Not white, otherwise my words won't show up. Say OK, OK. I also did a version of this with just grays. Um, instead of doing the blue, I did a very dark gray, a medium gray, and a light gray, and that looked pretty nice too. Control D to deselect. And now if I turn these all on, so now we get a little bit more definition um, in the picture and it's a little easier to tell what we're looking at. 